What's up guys? I am Editor James. Look at this beautiful car. What is it? It's Avante N Facelift, aka Elantra N. Or right, as always, I am reviewing from the front. It's beautiful. I am personally in favor of a color red. I mean, this is like a deeper, darker red, but still, I think this is a gorgeous, you know? Oh, uh, so I have reviewed Avante before. It wasn't the Avante N, but it is the facelift model. So today, luckily, Mr. Chung gave us chance to test drive it. And this is the performance model too. So yes, um, take a look at the front. People say, I mean, I can't tell too much difference, but then the design of the front bumper and here and there, like a little by little, there has been changes. So yeah, I can't tell too much how much difference it has, you know, gotten, but I'm saying there, if you carefully compare those two models, like a previous model and the facelift models, there has been minor changes overall design. And even looking at the headlamps right here, yes, there has been slight changes. It looks a bit softer compared to the before the facelift model. All right. So for me, this end batch right here in the front, you know, this is like, oh my God, I'm driving something fun. You know what I mean? Something fun. All right, right in the center, you see the uh, uh, camera. Below the license tag, we have a sensor which will be assisting you when you are activating the smart cruise control system. Yes, this is Avante N, Elantra N, but it has everything that Hyundai has. So, oh, if you are driving Avante N, and this is only a fun car, no, 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 no. It has all those high-tech functions that I have been mentioning from all my reviews. LKA, HDA, Smart Cruise Control System and everything. And on top of that, because this is a high-performance model, it has more options when it comes to performance, like LSD, you know, ECS, you know, uh, suspension, electronic suspension. It is a very, very, somewhat not really super high performance but for a very affordable performance car i would say but anyway that's the overall look i really like this end batch right here and you know usually like avante or any other hyundai car it has you know silver or chrome uh, end batch right the end emblem but just because this is a black and even some parts in the front some parts are like black and then we have red all like mingled together right it looks really nice actually you know what when i was first looking at it like oh what the hell but then more and more i look at it it looks actually all right you know and even the headlamp like i said yeah it's a slightly yeah it looks different i mean back then it was just kind of like going up a little bit more but it looks a lot softer because of the design of the headlamp, the whole car in the front looks a lot lower. Okay, look, I can barely put my fist right here. So I remember by Korean traffic law, if you have no less than 12 centimeters, then you cannot go through the, uh, the, go through the car inspection. So I'm pretty sure Hyundai engineers are aware of it. Look how low this car is. I mean, this car, because it is a performance, high performance car, it has a Pirelli Sport, a Pilot Sports, right? The Michelin Pilot Sports. And look how much space we have between the fender and the tire. I can barely put my index finger. That's it. And this is bone stock. Oh my God. Woo! Also, there has been changes uh, from the previous model to the uh, facelift model. The design of the rims, you know, also changed. Yeah, uh, colored caliper, red caliper with a big fat N logo. It also tells you, yo, I am a high performance car. This is nice. 
so I was driving it for a little bit the brake works really good but you would rather have to press it deeply because it doesn't provide too much pressure the braking pressure in the uh, in the beginning but once you just press it deeply a little bit more it makes sure that your car stop it has a different setting I would say all right on the side again other than um, the design of the rims I can't really tell the difference uh, from the before the facelift model all I can say is the color looks beautiful I am red fanatic I love color red even my car is red you know it's really beautiful very well designed oh and size skirt even on the side skirt right here we have an uh and um sign in the front a c a b pillar c pillar and all that it's black uh, also the side mirror the cover is glossy black as well so yes i was thinking oh what if this was you know red all around maybe huh but then you know black it matches really really well with all the colors so you know they are very contrasting but then yeah they look so okay they look very harmonic i really like the um i really like the uh the color a uh, red black and uh the black rims as well with the n logo right in the center so overall overall it's a four door sedan it's a four door sedan but still it looks very very dynamic so i think when it comes to design too hyundai did it really well all right let's go to the back every time i look at the rear limbs it reminds me of a batman i, I don't know why he just just reminds me of a batman so this is the most difficult part i don't see any changes maybe slight changes on the lower part of the bumper but that's about it i can't really tell uh in the rear we have a two huge uh exhaust tip which uh which pleasures my ear every time i shift the gear because it provides a popcorn sound every time i downshift it gives me bong, bong, bong. it gives me popcorn sound oh my god you know what that's like x-rated sound to me you know what I mean? x-rated like, like oh you know it's, it's so much fun oh but i'm gonna let you hear it later okay um the spoiler uh this this is the con for me mr chung i'm sorry but well maybe this is a stock spoiler but i don't really think this is well matching with the car perhaps if you have like a super wing or something like something like mugen wings i think it will look so much better but again yeah everything else is pretty much the same we have a big fat and logo on the side and like i said all this lettering and and logo it's all a hyundai logo it's all black so it looks different and it looks more dynamic it just tells you hey i am different from the normal model i am in you know so yeah it's pretty cool uh right above the uh hyundai emblem we have a rear view camera and yeah the diffuser and everything so i think it's very very overall well made 2.0 machine i really like it I gotta show you what the engine room looks like right let's pop the hood oh, oh yeah it is a high performance car it, it doesn't have the uh what do you call it the uh the shock Woo, it's pretty hot all right so it doesn't have the strut bar but it has a strut ring instead so which will help you uh, uh help this suspension does its job so much better again this is a 2.0 it's a small tiny engine but then yet yeah, it's juicing out all this power from all this tiny engine where is the turbo yeah here is the turbo right here it's a rather small so i'm pretty sure people who buy this car people who want a little bit more from this car 
I'm pretty sure they're going to replace Turbo, you know? I, I can already see what's coming. So that's what uh, the engine room looks like and Turbo. Woo! You know, I've been having so much fun, so it's rather, it's really hot right now. But yes, because it's a new car, it's pretty clean. Yeah, no strut bar. Instead, we have a strut ring. Uh, what about, what about, all right, wait a minute. If it has a strut ring in the front, maybe it has something in the back too. You know what? Let's go to the uh, back and see what's inside the trunk. All right, if you want to open the trunk, press this button. Ah, I was right. So here, it's like a monkey bar, but then it's for the rear. So Hyundai calls it stiff bar. I'm pretty sure it help you stabilize your driving, uh, uh, make sure that your car doesn't skid or slip away. So, oh yeah, Hyundai has made an upgrade. I don't know if I have seen that, um, the stiff bar from before the uh, facelift model. But yeah, 2024, the facelift model, it has a stiff bar in the back. So again, it helps stabilize, it helps, um, it makes sure that your car doesn't skid, just turns away. You know, because when you have a too much power and when you just press on the uh, gas, right? Your car, it just kind of like, you know, like I'm pretty sure you have seen the cases a lot with the Mustang drivers, like when they're pressing on the gas and then they lose control, so they just, glide into something else but i'm pretty sure i don't think this has this car has that much horsepower but still because this is a somewhat high performance car i think the hyundai engineers had added a lot more you know detailed parts to make sure uh you are safety dri uh, safe driving so in the rear we have a stiff bar uh in the engine room we have a st uh, uh strut rings not strut bar strut rings because strut bars they're you'll be able to see the bar crossing from left to the right side, but then it doesn't have that. It only has a straight ring. So again, it tells you this is high performance car. Right now I'm sitting in the back. Just want to show you quickly how much your leg space I have. This is my original driving position and I'm sitting in the back. I'm 5'11 and this is how much leg space I have. It's not small at all. It's rather simple. You don't have too much. Why? I'm not expecting anything because this is a fun car, not a comfortable car, you know? So we have an air vent right in the center, two type C uh, charging port. That's about it, okay? And we have a suede Napa letter. Is it Napa letter? I don't know if it's Napa letter or not, <clears throat> but this is, we have a letter. And we have an Ongta. Remember Ongta? heated a seat okay so in winter time your butt will not be cold but unfortunately uh we don't have a cooling seat uh, at all in this car even on the driver's seat and the passenger seat so sonata it had both onta heated seat and the cooling seat as well even though uh it has a semi bucket seat with a suede right in the middle but that was a very unusual case but avante and Elantra N doesn't have a cooling uh, cooling seat. It only has a heated seat, a uh, very simple and spacious rear. That's about it. I really like the uh, the bucket seat though. Uh, <laughs> oh, no cup holder in the center either. So it's very simple. So what you do is that if you are ever riding in the rear seats of the Avante N, you just sit back and relax and just have fun. What the driver can do. But make sure your driver drives safely. It's a rather very simple, guys. Very simple. Let's go to the driver's seat. All right. Now, sitting on the driving seat. Um, to be honest, guys, I can tell the difference. Everything looks the same. Everything looks the same. The only difference I can tell is that steering wheel. You know, the different color. N button, NGS and all that, and they may be uh, slightly different in colors, but that's about it. Everything else is uh, pretty much the same. Even though this is the facelift model, I think what Hyundai focused or what Hyundai um, uh, put effort into is the performance, not the interior, not the exterior. 
the exterior design as I told you there has been minor changes like slight changes in design but that's about it but then because this is the uh, performance car right they have uh, put so much effort into bring a better performance that's about it so the only thing I can tell the difference I can tell is that we have an N logo on the shift or uh, the shift knob okay we have N buttons on the steering wheel NGS button that's about it everything else is pretty much the same so can really tell but here just want to you know briefly show you we have all these buttons starting with the drive mode the parking assistant you know the beeping uh, electronic parking auto hold and all that so yeah that's what it is and here we have a wireless phone charger and then as well as you know all this charging port with a cigarette a cigar jack so yeah it's exactly pretty much the same from the previous model so again interior all these buttons and everything is pretty much identical but what's fun is it's when you are driving so shall we go for driving Let's go. I'm dying to hear the popcorn sound. Yeah!